The trend of data science and data analytics is increasing day by day. From the data science pipeline, one of the most important steps is model deployment. We have a lot of options in Python for deploying our model. Some popular frameworks are Flux and Django, but the issue with using these frameworks is that it requires us to have sound knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So today, I'm actually going to show you a wonderful tool for creating web apps and model deployment in Python, which is Streamlit. Streamlit is actually an open source Python framework for building web apps for machine learning and data science. And it uses React, which is a JavaScript framework to render data for us on the screen. So the question is, why should we use Streamlit? You can instantly develop web apps and deploy them easily in few minutes with fewer lines of code. And using Streamlit, you can deploy any machine learning model and any Python project with ease and without worrying about the front end. Streamlit is user friendly and the library can help you create and deploy your data science solution in few minutes and with few lines of code. Streamlit allows you to write an app the same way you write your Python code. Streamlit can seamlessly integrate with other popular Python libraries used in data science such as NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and Scikit-learn, and many more. So without any further ado, let's go through the process step by step on how to install and set up Streamlit on your machine. To install Streamlit, make sure you have the latest version of Python installed on your machine because Streamlit supports Python version 3.7 or greater. So let's head over to PyPI.org. PyPI is a special and vast repository of Python open source packages supplied by the worldwide community of Python developers. PyPI helps you find and install software developed and shared by the Python community. So let's search on Streamlit. And let's click on the first link that says Streamlit 1.2. Alright, here is Streamlit package homepage on PyPI website. And as you see at the top, there is a pip command for installing Streamlit on our machine. So let's copy the command and open up our terminal window. You may also use your Anaconda command prompt. It's totally up to you. After opening my command line, I will then paste the command I just copied from the PyPI.org website. This command will install Streamlit on our machine. And then hit enter. The installation is going to take some while to finish. So you may need to wait a little bit for it to get done. Alright. Now our installation has completed successfully. So let's dive into my favorite part where I'm going to show you how you can develop and deploy apps using Streamlit and Python. Here I will be using VS Code Editor to run my Python code. But you may use your favorite code editor to follow along with me. Now I'm going to create a new Python file with the name app.py. As always, first what we actually going to do is to import Streamlit to our project. So I'm going to say import streamlit as slt and then i'm gonna create a title for my application which is slt.title then pass the string hello world from softlinks so before running our application to see how it behaves on the browser here on my terminal i'm gonna run a streamlit server which help us to run and display our application on our computer browser you can also use your system terminal window for doing that but make sure you change your terminal window directory to your project directory. So to run the server, I'm going to say streamlit run app.py and then hit enter. As you see, streamlit has created a server on our computer pointing to this local host. So now let's open up our browser. Awesome, right? As you see, we don't have to go into the trouble of writing HTML, CSS, and some JavaScript to make this web app. 
because Streamlit has covered all that for us with ease and save us a lot of time. So let's do something by creating a select box with Streamlit and see how it behaves. Back to my VS code, I'm gonna create a new variable of name select box and set that to slt.selectbox function from streamlit and this function takes two arguments this first argument is a string which will be the name of the checkbox so let's say select yes or no then the second argument is a list which i'm gonna say yes and the second string is no so i'm gonna save and then run my application on the browser this is perfect. Lastly, if you want to know more about Python and Streamlit, I recommend you to check out the documentation. I will drop the link in the video description so you can check it out. There are many things to learn from the documentation. And also, you can join the community or follow them on these social media platforms. So in a nutshell, this wraps up our tutorial on how to make web apps using Python and Streamlit. So thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Take care.